we are with the uh, Namgyo Chiling Farm Kaling. So, where are you, where are you heading towards? Uh, hello, I'm uh, returning from our capital uh, of Bhutan, Thimpo. I'm going back to my uh, residential place in Finsling Border Town. It's about uh, five hours drive from here. Uh, we have just started uh, and uh, I think we may have uh, about four more hours to go from here. So we are just returning back home. Okay, so I think you are planning to go back to Bangkok after two weeks or three weeks, I guess. And as you said, you are heading with your family too. So what's your plan out there with your family out there in Bangkok? Um, basically, I went to Thimpu to process their passport, okay. uh, which I did it uh, within a day. And uh, I'll be leaving to I'll be leaving to uh, Bangkok on the 13th, and in February. And uh, my family will be joining me by uh, the mid of December uh, to to about uh, end of uh, January, perhaps. Uh, they are just going there for a vacation and uh, I'm uh, going to take them around to Bangkok to see the places. You can see there are beautiful places here which is not there in Bangkok. So they want to see some different places uh, in Bangkok uh, to get some new experiences. Okay, we have a jam out here. That's Bhutan Army truck. A series of truck though. The second one. So Yes, your family is lucky one uh, to hit them to Bangkok, a very far place and a nice place though. So we can see a beautiful scenery out here, trees, a green tea, as we see GNH, Green National Happiness. <laughs> so we have we see a truck heading towards capital, mainly this come from West Bengal I guess uh, to support military action from India, government of India. It's uh, two in the afternoon, and here we can see mountains, Buddhist mountains, and the pear flags being fluttering. And here are the scenes. So, you have anything to say, uh, Taba? Uh, yeah, uh, after going to Bangkok and returning back, I feel that uh, being a Buddhist, I'm so proud because uh, the nature. The environment you can see up there around, the trees, the rivers are so pristine and pure and uh, the atmosphere here is so warm and the people are so happy. We can see that uh, we do not have to rush things here. Everybody is very, uh, very, very intimate in their daily lives. Uh, just now we are going through a mountain road and uh, we'll be dropping down to about 1000 meters more but just now this mountain road of course it is very risky because uh, if, if things can happen if you go off road we may fall down 300 to 400 over 500 meters <laughs> down and it's very dangerous however uh, but it is it is a it is going to be an interesting experience for those tourists who are visiting bhutan uh, from time to time they pay a lot about 250 dollars or 260 dollars per day uh, for two weeks time to see this uh, wonderful place of Bhutan. So you see that you're lucky to be a Bhutanese? Yeah, I'm, I feel so. But you say that you like uh, staying in Bangkok also? Yeah, because that is uh, that is one uh, and the rare experience I can have. I may never uh, reach there to Bangkok in future. Just now because of the Royal Government of Bhutan, I got this privilege to visit there and uh, that country is a developed country and we can see uh, some different things. We can taste different foods, different cultures, different languages and different mode of uh, dealing with people. That is quite interesting. That's for a time being. So however, after reaching to Bangkok and staying for after two weeks, we become so homesick because this, is, uh, this, this place like Bhutan is nowhere in the world. I must say that you are very true of your word. So, like as you can see, we are like uh, near to Chapcha now, maybe uh, 30 minutes away from here. So, you can see beautiful trees out there, a road which plus uh, just deep through these mountains. Yeah, Chapcha is one of the highest point 
I invested in Bhutan. Okay, one is of it? the highest point, yeah. And okay. it, especially in this area, it is damp because you can see even now it's, uh, it's uh, really shady. In winter, in midwinter, generally there will be so much of ice here, and uh, usually people uh, find difficult to drive through this place because you can see it's very steep down there, and then the road is uh, so steep and yeah. even, uh, not as wide as in Bangkok. You can see. Yeah, yeah, we can see a traffic jam <laughs> out of nowhere, a small highway out here. Uh, many times we can see uh, people uh, waiting here on the road because of a vehicle jam. We have two cars out there. It was one a taxi and the eight one is a decent which uh, loads. Probably you'll miss uh, such kind of scenery out there in uh, Bangkok. Like, I uh, like uh, leaves with not only green colors but reddish, yellow, such a scenery you'd probably miss it. Yeah, I would say this is a very romantic scene. Yeah, I also miss it a lot. Like, guess you can see this uh, road also even. You'll find a non-polluted air, air fresh of uh, pollution and people out here very uh, hospitable and I really miss Bhutan. I think you also like kind of uh, more into a Bhutanese culture I guess. Yeah, being a Bhutanese of course. And you're, what you're wearing is a Bhutanese goa and I hope you're wearing it after like uh, two months or three months I guess. Yeah, after four months I got a chance to wear this uh, go, so I'm not going to put it off until the day I uh, take my flight from Bhutan to Bangkok. <laughs> and the go you're wearing, so what's this uh, type of uh, like uh, texture? It's, I think it's called as something, yeah, bura a, or something like it's that. A, it's a bura cloth, it's one of the very expensive clothes mm -hmm. and it is uh, woven from the thread which we get from silkworms. So that's why it's very expensive. Okay. And uh, this is sometimes we call it zango because this goes uh, worn on a very special uh, days, occasional special days. So that means today is your occasional day or just for a moment? Uh, yeah, the journey I started from Finsling to the capital is a very important day because when you go to Thimphu or capital city and when we have to go to offices, uh, we have to put on a very uh, dignified type of uh, dress because at least uh, as an officer we have to be at that uh, level. Standard, yes. <laughs> yeah, very true. So out here we have what we continued as a Bhutanese mountains out here. You can see series of mountains out here, which is beautiful, but bit covered by the trees out here. That's called a thick, dense forest. 